Hello everyone, so today we're going to be doing a fun tag video where I'm going to swap out a few of the bags in my collection. So, interested to see what I want to get rid of and what I want to replace it with? Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome. If you're new to my channel, my name is Caleb and on here you're gonna find a lot of things like luxury shopping, reveals, reviews, unboxings, luxury travel, daily vlogs, pretty much anything that has to do with life and style, you're gonna find where? Right here on this channel. So before we go any further, before we dive into this fun tag today, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, turn on the bell icon so that way you're notified when I post new content, which is Wednesdays and Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. Central Time. Drop something down in the comments, say hi to me on Instagram, caleb.snell.designer. And with all of that out of the way, let's have some fun. So I was tagged to do this video, not once, not twice, but three times. And I will admit all about a month or two ago, so I am very sorry, I'm very late to this game, but this was such a fun tag that I really wanted to jump on board and kind of like throw my voice into this conversation, if you will. So who tagged me? Well, glad you asked, let me tell you. So I was tagged first by Jamie from Lux Petite. She's another content creator here in Chicagoland. Her collection is phenomenal. Literally all things Chanel, Fendi, and a little bit of Dior. She's the one you wanna be watching. Her collection is so curated, it's on point. I, I love her aesthetic. She's amazing, so check her out. Next, I was tagged by the absolutely fabulous Melissa Adams Wade. Now, her collection is stunning. Just this weekend, she shared her bag collection and I'm not gonna lie, I have some bag envy. There's a gorgeous, well, not one, but two gorgeous Valentinos, a beautiful Balenciaga that, not gonna lie, I was looking at on the website after she posted. Just a phenomenal YouTuber, and she is this close to hitting 1,000 subscribers. So if you haven't already, go and check Melissa out. You will not be disappointed. Again, she's a very fun YouTube creator. She's got great fashion sense, beautiful bags. You, you aren't wasting your time. Check out Melissa. And then last but not least, everyone's favorite tour from Anthropology. I love his channel. Again, he has another really neat collection. I love how minimal his aesthetic is. He really goes for quality and not necessarily the name brand of the items. So he has a lot of beautiful pieces from Celine. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous collection. And he does a lot of like podcast type videos where he just kind of like forecasts, you know, what's going on in the fashion world, you know, buying habits, why he left Instagram. He really takes a neat, deep look into everything. And it's kind of like a little mini TED talk whenever he posts. And I love Love the vibe, so check out Tor if you haven't. Now, the tag. I spent literally all morning trying to figure out who created this tag. It was so hard. The best that I can tell is that it was actually created in a roundabout way by none other than Nick J. Snell. No, we're not related, but he's also fabulous. And his initial tag was locking everyone's bags in a vault. You can only have five bags. Here's a, uh, an Amex card with no limit. And I've done that tag, so link down below for that video. Super fun. Nick's always bringing a fun, quirky, you know, tag or a look at things. And I love, I love his channel too, so check him out. And then at some point it switched when I think Celeste from Simply Celeste did the tag. She kind of morphed it from the, you know, your collection's locked away, you can only buy five bags to these are the five bags in my collection that I would swap. So I'm going to give Celeste credit for creating the tag because it kind of spawned like, the, the tag that we know now is kind of what she did and what she started. So that's the best I could tell because I went through everyone who's created it and who they gave credit to for tagging them and it kind of ends at her channel. So check them out, all fabulous creators. Anyway, I've rambled enough, so let's dive in. What are the rules for this tag? You have to pick five bags from your collection that you have an issue with, a gripe with, that you would swap for something else. It's no secret, I have a large and ever-growing collection. So to use a bag enough to have a gripe about it, it's kind of hard for me because I, I think I switch two or three times a week. Anyway, I found five bags for you guys are all here off camera that I would switch and I have selected on my monitor here five bags that I would replace them with. These are very minor gripes. These are first world problem gripes. I'm not actually looking to sell these bags or swap them, but one or two of these I might add to my collection at some point. So I like to do things alphabetically. It helps keep me organized, keeps things clean on the channel. So we're gonna start out with none other than, can you guess if you're not new to my channel, you already know, we're starting with Balenciaga. Yes, a Balenciaga bag that I have a gripe with. When you think of my Balenciaga collection, it's some new pieces, a lot of older pieces, and the bag that I have the most gripe with is 
The quilted touch puffy clutch thing, whatever, I never can remember its name. Balenciaga names are so extraneously long. It's absolutely crazy. This bag is fabulous. I bought this in December of 2020, I think. It was brand new at the time. I was able to get it from Saks Fifth Avenue. I actually had to buy it twice. I've done a review and an unboxing on this, so go and check it out on my channel. It's quite the drama. Love this bag. However, as you can tell, it is big, it is pillowy, it is cumbersome to carry. And in, in the wintertime, or in the wintertime, the summertime, do you really wanna be carrying a massive black leather clutch through the city? No. I wanna be light, I wanna be crossbody, I wanna be on the shoulder hands-free, chill vibes only, and this bag does not fit those vibes. No, it's a fabulous bag. I'm not getting rid of it. I'm not, I promise. So the bag that I would switch it out with is the XXXL flat bag box in the black. Black for black. I, I, it's, it's a fabulous color. It goes with everything. It's a good neutral. It's edgy, and this bag is stunning. So this was from look number 12 on Balenciaga's summer 2022 red carpet collection. It was a vibe. We're here for it. This bag can go shoulder. It can go handheld. It can go in the hand like a clutch. It is so versatile. Price-wise, She's a big ask. She's 2,390, so personally, I'd probably wait for like a sale or maybe a fashion file moment because we all know I'm a little bit thrifty when it comes to these things, but it's a stunning bag nonetheless. And I kind of like that it also has, I'm not quite sure um, if that's hardware on the front or if it's just embossed or embroidered, but I like that it has kind of that blackout look that my clutch does. Balenciaga's website isn't the greatest, which I kind of have a gripe with, but the other hardware on the bag is the blackout hardware, which I think is a total vibe. It's a look, I'm here for it 100%. Quilted puffy clutch, XXXL flat box bag shoulder thingamajig. I can never get their names right. That is my first swap. The next swap though is going to surprise you and it is one of my Fendi bags. That's right. You heard it here first folks. I would swap out one of my Fendi bags. I mean, I wouldn't in real life, but in this scenario, it is one of the bags that came to mind. I only have two so far. You can probably guess which one it is. It would be none other than my black large peekaboo. Why would I swap this bag out? Caleb, it's stunning, it's gorgeous, we're living for it. I know, I am too, I love this bag. When it comes to Fendi peekaboos, I just like the fun ones, you know, with the, the jazzy color on the outside, the weird hardware, the fun interior, maybe embroider it, embellish it. I, I went with this one after I bought my first peekaboo. It was the tan with the denim interior. Stunning, total vibe, it's getting restored soon. I need to send it out to Rago Brothers or whatever. We're still on that journey, don't worry, that series is coming. I was like, you know what, I have my, my fun and quirky and affordable one, I think it was like three, four, five hundred dollars. Now I wanted to spend a little bit more money and get a really nice example, and I did. However, it's black with just the black suede interior. Stunning bag, do not get me wrong. He says business. This bag is bringing you business vibes only. He is going into the boardroom and he will not accept less than 51% of the company. Business, 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 business. Which I mean, I do do business and I do carry this when I need to do big business. I just wanna have a little bit more fun with my peekaboos. So that being said, I have selected another peekaboo. Now you guys, this peekaboo that I've picked out, it is Gorgeous. This is the Calfskin Romano Celeria Embroidered Large Peekaboo Iconic Satchel in Beige. It is a vibe. It is absolutely, absolutely, absolutely stunning. Beautiful textural leather that Fendi is known for. It's the Celeria, so it has that thicker whip stitch detail, a little bit higher in price than a normal peekaboo would be. And the best part, I'm glad you asked, is the interior. So you're thinking, Caleb, like, okay, you're gonna give up a, a black peekaboo for a beige peekaboo, like, what, what's going on? Like, that's kind of weird. Hello, my name's Caleb, I'm a little weird. The interior, you guys, this bag is all, all business on the outside and absolute stunning gorgeousness on the interior. This bag is embroidered, it is beaded, and it is giving me Nolan Miller Dynasty cocktail party vibes. 100% here for that. I, I love this bag, you guys, it is, so stunning. It doesn't come with the dust bag, which is a huge shame. Again, where do these dust bags go? Especially for a bag that they're saying estimated retail was $6,000. <sighs> okay, anyway, so it's on Fashion File right now for $1,195. It, it, it's, it's a stunner. So I would switch out my, my business peekaboo for this gorgeous peekaboo. It's kind of reminding me of some of the more recent Dolce & Gabbana Alta Moda fashion shows, especially that one with the staircase with those gorgeous gowns. I love D&G's couture collections, so I'll link that down below so you guys can kind of get a sense of what I'm talking about. Be careful, it's like 45 minutes long and it will absolutely suck you in because every single look is a serve. I, I loved that show. That's D&G, we're talking about Fendi. The Fendi peekaboo, Celeria. Do I need a third peekaboo in my collection? I mean. <laughs> Duh. 
Absolutely. Who knows, maybe I'll, maybe I'll snatch this one up. All right, next up is Louis Vuitton. Now, this LV bag is going to be a surprise to you. Whenever I think I don't have a whole lot of bags from a certain house in my collection, then I realize I have like eight, nine, or 10. Anyway, so the bag that I've chosen from LV is none other than my first multicolore, the Marilyn. So this came from the Takashi Murakami collection back in the early aughts. It was on the arm of every it girl, now it's on my arm. This bag is absolutely Gorgeous. Lately, I am starting to favor larger bags because I, I kind of carry a bit of stuff that I actually use. And this little guy doesn't fit a whole lot, as you can tell. In my mind, I'm like, I, I love the vibe, I love the look, but I want it to be a little bit larger. That's where the LV Multicolor Beverly MM comes into play. Now this bag is gorgeous. Do I want this particular one that I'm showing you guys? Absolutely not, because why? It's a little rough. So there's a lot of staining on the vachetta. The vachetta is a little bit dark. If I'm going to spend that much, I would like to have some lighter vachetta. I know I'm one of those people. I get it, thank you. And right in the center, it has the black LV at the top flap, which I'm not a huge fan of. I, I love all the colors. I want it to be loud in your face. And I think that the black LV just like really, I'm staring at it right now, really just kind of like snaps your eye to it and you zero in on that. That's one of my biggest gripe too about my Marilyn and my Multicolor Speedy 30s. They both have the white LV on the front too, which was something I was willing to accept because I really loved all the other colors on the front. This one, I mean, it's got some pink, it's got some green, it has chartreuse, sky blue, and royal blue. Overall, not my favorite color scheme, so I will wait for another one to come up because yes, this bag has been on my, my wish list for a very long time, especially recently. I think Rebag did a campaign maybe late last year where the model was holding it like a clutch on her arm. Total vibe, that's 100% how I would carry it. This is currently retailing for 1,290. It's 10% off on Fashion File. Everything I've shared with you will be linked down below so that way you have a chance to buy it. Unless I do have a special announcement coming up at the end of this episode. So that's my LV. What have we done so far? We've swapped out a Balenciaga. We've swapped out a Fendi. We've swapped out an LV. Where does that put us in my bag collection in alphabetical order? None other than Hermes. So when it comes to the house of Hermes, I have one lonely bag in my collection. No SLGs, no silks, just the one clutch. None other than my Hermes Rio PM. I love this little cutie. It was my first Hermes bag and I cannot tell you how excited I was for this to arrive when it was delivered. It is stunning. Now, I've carried it a couple times. I really intended this to be for like weddings, evenings out and things like that. I haven't done a lot of those lately. So I haven't really carried it a whole lot. And this bag literally, once you get your cell phone in there, can hold like a card holder. Your boy needs a little bit more than that, so it doesn't necessarily fit a lot. Lately, I've been just keeping my phone in my pocket just because Apple Pay is so convenient, which kind of negates the point of a bag. Zane pointed this out last night. And I told him like, listen, I don't know what you're trying to say. I collect bags, get over it, Zane. Anyway, this bag doesn't hold a whole lot, so I would like to swap it out for something cute and small that could hold a little bit more. What did I pick? This is absolutely insane. Um, I chose the Hermes Chev Mysore Verso Mini Kelly Cellier 20 in the gorgeous and absolutely stunning color combination of Ver Verone and Blue Zanzibar. Mostly just because I wanted to say Zanzibar. I think that's a fun name. You guys, this bag is absolutely gorgeous. It is high up on my wish list. Will I ever get one? I would probably only buy one if I was offered it in store, just because I think the resale is so insane on these bags, which speaking of, this one is currently priced at 24,980. That's a big ask, especially considering that she's got a scratch across the back. Mm -hmm. This bag is stunning. I absolutely love Hermes. I love the color combo. Am I on an Hermes journey? Oh, I've got to finish my Chanel journey first and then I'll start on my Hermes journey as annoying and overdone as that is, but I wouldn't hate having this in my collection. Like I said, I'd only buy it brand new from store just because the resale is absolutely insane, which this is a 2021 and I think it has all the stickers on it. Well, I mean, they did scratch it, but maybe they bought it with the intention of just flipping it. It's beautiful, what can you say? Last but not least, we have the fifth bag in the, in the little curated lineup. And now that I'm looking at everything spread out, it is a complete aesthetic vibe. We've got a lot of black, a lot of tan, a lot of cream. I'm here for it. But the final bag in my collection that I would switch is from Yves Saint Laurent or Saint Laurent now, I guess. So the bag that I have in my collection that I would switch is gonna be a bit of a shock. Well, maybe not. So in my collection, I have the two Muse 2s. I have the YSL Sade Clutch. I have a couple of Uptowns. I have the canvas printed totes that now that it's summer, I can probably start getting into again. So the bag from my lineup that I would swap out would be none other than my YSL Uptown pouch. I was lucky enough to get the natural beige combo, which is really kind of a spectator style. You have this gorgeous 
beige creamy canvas with the dark tan trimming and it's kind of a spectator style which is 100% my vibe. I love that look. Whenever I see this bag I just want to sit in a bistro in like Rome or Florence and have a Peroni and just live my best life. That is what this clutch is giving me. However, much like the Hermes Rio PM, this bag does not hold much at all, even less because it's not really gusseted. Now I do carry this shopping in the summertime and it is a complete vibe, total flex, love the bag. However, I wish it held more and wasn't so clutchy. It can be kind of annoying when you're trying to shop and you've got to do this constantly, get in and out. It's a bit of a, it's a nuisance, we'll say that much. So the bag that I'm gonna switch it out to is None other than the Cassandra Mini Top Handle Bag in Canvas and Smooth Leather. This bag is currently retailing new for 2,390. In this instance, I would probably, this is gonna be another fashion file moment. I don't know, I, I absolutely love the bag, but I don't know if I'd wanna pay full retail because your boy's a little cheap, not gonna lie. And this bag is absolutely gorgeous. I actually saw this today on one of um, the Purse Forum's reels over on Instagram and I said, okay, that, that's a flex, it's a vibe, I'm here for it. <sighs> What can you say? It's just a classic style top handle bag. I love the YSL lock mechanism on the front and I don't have that in my collection yet. I think I need it, I, I really do. This bag can go crossbody, you can remove the strap. Well, probably not crossbody on me, but I'll have to try it on. I'll let you know if it works or not. But I love the top handle look. It's giving me like Kelly 28 vibes, you know, like little Kelly, cute moment. She's here for it, we're here for it, we're living. It's a stunning bag. I originally got sucked into this bag because Mel in Melbourne, she shared one of her YSL, like maybe a Farfetch haul or her picks for Christmas, or I think it was like a gift haul. But when she first flashed this across the screen, actually, I think it's in the thumbnail, I was like, oh my God, right away, that's the bag I want. This was my very first YSL piece, which was then followed by the second Uptown, and we all know where we're at now. I've got. I've got a bit of a YSL problem, especially the older bags, but I love this bag. So thank you, Mel, for getting me on this radar. And I love it so much that I would be willing to add a second bag with the same finish to my collection. The Cassandra is, it, it's stunning. I love it. All right, you guys. So those were my five picks that I would swap out to. Now let's tag some other wonderful content creators here on YouTube. So first and foremost, there's three that I have in mind. I was tagged by three, so I'm going to tag three. And the first one that comes to mind is Classics with a Quirk. I love her channel. Her collection is stunning. She has a lot of great insights on the process of how these beautiful things that we love to buy are made. She recently went to an Hermes special event. Watch the video because it is so good, but I could literally sit there for hours and just watch them silk screen print the scarves. Gorgeous. She also got to see a, an Hermes Kelly being made right in front of her. Like that opportunity is phenomenal and we are so lucky that she shared it with us. So head to her channel, check it out. Next up, I want to tag none other than Julie from Agent Bag Reviews. Now Tor also already tagged her. I'm going to do it again because I don't know, I don't think she's done the tag yet. She's been working on a Balenciaga review. She's added a lot of Balenciaga to her collection, you guys, and I'm low-key jealous because some of the pieces she's gotten are absolutely amazing. She has the purple glycine city bag, which, I mean, I have the raisin city, but it's such a different shade of purple, I could probably justify it. Zane's probably rolling his eyes as he's editing this. He's not here today, you guys. He's in Indiana at work for a couple more days, and I'm alone. I'm flying solo this week, and I miss him. Anyway, Back to Julie. I think I could justify having raisin and purple glycine. They're both different enough that I could have them both. She also has a Twiggy, a Velo, and she's doing a series, a series review on each of the different styles, which she and I were talking like, listen, you know, there's a lot of Balenciaga content here on YouTube, but a lot of it is from like 10, 12 years ago when this stuff was like super hot. You've got low, like 240p quality. The information's not great. They're filmed on, you know, shaky old cameras. I think we're kind of working to put new, more up-to-date, more high-def quality Balenciaga content out there for you guys. So I know that Balenciaga Moto styles are coming back. They're hot again. People are collecting them again. So a lot of people have been coming to our channels, my channel, her channel, to watch these things and learn more. So if you need more Balenciaga content, Julie's your gal, especially right now. And last but not least, one of my favorite YouTubers here in our little luxury community is Jame from James Jam. I absolutely love her channel. I actually think I found it when I was looking for just Balenciaga content to watch and lo and behold, she had a couple of card holders and she mentioned me in that video. I'm like, hey Jam, I just, I, I love her channel. She is just positive vibes only. She's a sweetheart, beautiful collection. Check her out, subscribe to her channel, subscribe to everyone's channel that I mentioned today because these are all top quality content creators that deserve attention, but I love James Jam. Those are the three people that I'm going to tag today in this video. I've rambled, 
I've rambled a lot. Zane is probably rolling his eyes. He's probably cut out 25 minutes of rambling. I wouldn't be surprised. But the special announcement that I kind of teased you about at the beginning of this video, I bought a new bag. <laughs> What's new? Nothing, but I bought a new bag. And to make it fun, it is one of the five bags that I showed you today. Bonus points down in the comments. Let me know which one you think I bought. Did I buy the Balenciaga XXXL flap thing, whatever it's called? Did I buy the gorgeous Fendi Peekaboo with its beaded embroidered goodness? Did I buy the Hermes Kelly? <laughs> okay, we can roll that one out. I did not drop 25 grand on a bag. <laughs> Sorry. Did I get the, what else did I show you? The Louis Vuitton Beverly MM. Did I get the Cassandra? Let me know in the comments. Now, a couple of you, my, my bag besties that I talk to over on Instagram a lot already know, so don't spoil it. But I know some of you are already clicking the links to these bags and like, is this one sold? Is that one sold? So take a guess, one of the four bags, we know it's not the Hermes. I didn't spend that much money today. You're welcome, Zane. I, I self-restraint, I'm learning it, maybe. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. This was a lot of fun. Thank you to the content creators who tagged me in this video, Jamie, Tor, and Melissa. That's it, that's all I've got for you. It's a beautiful Monday. I have the day off from work, so I think I'm gonna go out for a walk, maybe get in some sunshine, play some video games, and yeah, that's gonna be me. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for putting up with my rambling. Hopefully I shared some beautiful eye candy with you today, whether from my collection or from the websites, but that's all I got for you. So stay fun. No, <laughs> in the meantime, have fun. Stay safe. You can stay fun if you want, I guess. Do you. Um, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, guys. Bye-bye.